Hey, what's up? You know, uh, I was thinking about this tonight, and you know, after hearing the sign signings of uh, Brian Danielson and, and, and Nigel McGinnis to WWE, you know, um, if you guys don't know who they are, they're from Ring of Honor, and they've both been world champions. Ring of Honor is basically, uh, for some of you that don't know, is basically the uh, ECW of this uh, century. Um, now, the reason I'm saying this is because it's, I find it kind of ironic that they're signing them now at a time where CM Punk, who was once one of WWE's most popular superstars, is one of the most hated heels right now in the company. Um, you know, because of the way he is, you know, he's just put, being portrayed as someone that's straight edge, you know, you know, that, you know, just, you know, not only doesn't believe in the, um, you know, in, in doing drugs and alcohol and all that, but also somebody that feels as though you don't need all this pyrotechnics and face paint and things like that to get over with the fans. So, you know, it, it, it makes me wonder about something. You know, because first of all, I'm wondering, uh, when it comes to CM Punk turning heel, I mean, everybody thought that, you know, said this was going to happen anyway, because, you know, when he was on the Independence and the Ring of Honor, he had this uh, kind of heelish personality at times to where his straight-edge lifestyle would mean, hey, I'm better than you guys. In fact, I think he said last week on SmackDown, he said that very thing, I believe, to to the audience, that he's better. So, uh, you know, you know, so it's not really a surprise to anybody that this happened. Um, but I, I'm thinking, honestly, that the reason they turned him heel, you know, into a top bad guy, if you will, heel, whatever you want to call it, you know, that you know, which focuses a lot on his straight edge lifestyle, because maybe, uh, just maybe, uh, WWE is kind of attacking its own self, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm not trying to say anything bad about WWE, but I think what WWE is doing, you know, through CM Punk, is maybe they're trying to, you know, kind of, kind of like, they're probably doing something that was similar to, like, what ECW did uh, back in the back in 1999 and early 2000 when when Paul Heyman, you know, created the character of Cyrus to represent the network, you know, the TNN network. So, you know, it makes me wonder, and maybe that's what WWE do, is doing with CM Punk. Perhaps, in a way, they want to do, it, to do this to him, you know, and have fans boo the straight-edge preaching of his because... Um, they're probably upset at the fact, well, probably because they know the product, you know, is PG, but they know maybe that fans don't like PG and they'd rather have more of the 14 rating or something back on there. You know, I said before, I've got a feeling, I even told this to J-Dub and he agreed with me, that right now is a transitional period and maybe that's why they're doing this heel situation with CM Punk. Because I've got a feeling within the next year or so, they'll go back to TV 14 rating, despite what people say. I've got, I've got that feeling. Because they're going to see how the success of TNA is going with that 14 rating, and they're going to go back to it. Now, what does this have to do uh, Brian Danielson and, and Nigel McGuinness signing with WWE? Well, both, like CM Punk, are from Ring of Honor, most notably being known for the time in Ring of Honor and being champions there. And both, like CM Punk, never used pyrotechnics or face paint or anything. Or even, I don't know if they did drugs or alcohol or whatever. But if they didn't do that, my, my, my th theory, theory on it, like I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, I've got a feeling, of, feeling if they do this, they do it right, they might bring in Danielson and McGinnis to form some kind of like alliance or stable with Punk. To say, hey, look at us, you know, we're straight edge superstars, we don't need... Uh, alcohol and drugs, you know, we don't need the pyrotechnics, we don't need the face paint, we don't need the smoke and mirrors, you know, we don't need to turn off the lights and come, turn them back on and appear out of nowhere, blah, blah, blah. I'm just wondering if maybe they'll do that. 
But again, you know, those are just my thoughts on why certain things are happening right now at WWE when it comes to CM Punk being a heel and the signing of, of the RHS guys. You know, make, it makes me think, you know. It might make you think as well. So if anybody agrees with me, J Dub, Spinternet, whoever, uh, just let me know. And that's all I'm going to say. Peace.